So I spent a month with the Lenovo Yoga 9i. This is the Gen 8 model with the i7 1360p CPU from Intel and 16 gigs of RAM. Now I really like this laptop. However, there's some things that I don't really love about it. So in this video, we're gonna talk about some things that I love, some things that I don't, and then we'll see if this is the right laptop for you. Now let's kick it off with some things that I don't love. And first and foremost, let's get the elephant in the room out of the way, the price. Starting out at around the $1,700 range, it just seems like a lot of money for an i7 1360p processor, no dedicated GPU, and not even giving us the option for 32 gigs of RAM. Now that being said, there's a lot I like, but let's take over a few more things that I don't. The next thing would be the battery life. I really expected to see more battery life out of this laptop. The max battery life I was seeing was for streaming video playback at 11 hours. I would love to see this laptop at at least the 13 to 14 hour battery life for streaming video playback. As you can see for productivity tasks, we saw about nine and a half hours, for Photoshop work about six and a half hours, and then for video editing work about four hours. So I just wish this thing had a little bit more battery life because that i7 1360p should be so much more efficient inside of this laptop. Over the past few years, my wife has had her personal information stolen and accounts open without her approval. A while back, we found some of these accounts and took action to eliminate these issues. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. We've been using Aura to monitor our personal information online for over a year now and have been able to reclaim control of our personal data. Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Anyone can find anything on the internet, including your full legal name, your personal email, your home address, phone number, and even your relatives. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn more about you. Aura will even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing list. You can use my link by going to aura.com slash Kaiser to try a two week free trial to see how many data brokers are sharing your information. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitor, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need all inside one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two week free trial with my link in the video description. You'll be shocked at how much of your private information Aura finds exposed over those two weeks. It's quite frightening actually. Aura.com slash Benji Kaiser or scan the QR code on the screen right now. I think you'll be very happy with the protection that you receive and the level of comfort that you get by using Aura. We have been extremely happy using it for over a year and I definitely recommend it. If you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of the Lenovo Yoga 9i, you can head down in the description below and click that link. Now, if you do make a purchase through that link, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content you come in your way. So I'm always grateful when you guys use those links. Now, this laptop does not come with 32 gigs of RAM, which for me, the After Effects score really could have been a lot better for this laptop. I would personally not be a huge advocate for this laptop for After Effects users. It scored a 604 inside of the After Effects benchmark, which to me was just underperforming. If this had 32 gigs of RAM or, you know, a dedicated GPU, which it won't, it's too thin and light, but if it did, it would perform much better inside of After Effects. So if you're considering this laptop as a dedicated After Effects laptop, I would not recommend it. However, maybe a little bit of dabbling in After Effects, you could probably get away with it, but don't think this is gonna be your mainstay computer for After Effects. Now these laptops are coming a long way for video editing, but 6K video editing is still not quite there. Though we saw smooth playback at half quality for 6K B-RAW in the timeline of Premiere Pro, only dropping 580 frames out of 16,177, it was still just shy of a 28 minute export for that nine minute clip, which for me is a little bit of a workflow bottleneck. And that was only one 6K clip exported out of Premiere Pro. So if you were to add in you know, a lot of color grading or motion graphics or extra B-roll or music, it would make that export even longer. All right, now let's go ahead and dive into some things that I love. Now, first and foremost, the build quality in this laptop is fantastic. It's got a nice aluminum top cover, bottom cover, and keyboard deck. And the way that the bottom cover is assembled into the side panels is fantastic. Very smooth edges, assembled very nicely. I love the rounded edges on this laptop. It is so comfortable to hold. And even the unintentional kind of angle here, maybe it's intentional, maybe it's unintentional, but you can see here, it's kind of this 
this angle that's so comfortable to hold in your hand when you're carrying the laptop. A lot of laptops have very sharp 90 degree angles when you, you know, go from the top cover to the side panels and the bottom cover to the keyboard deck. And I love this rounded design. It's so comfortable to hold in my hand, especially when we flip it into tablet mode. So as you flip it into tablet mode, you have this really nice angle to grip your hand on. And it's just so comfortable and so easy to hold. And that 3K display looks fantastic. Now, the next thing I want to point out has nothing to do with that physical laptop, but what they send in the box with it. You get this fantastic yoga sleeve, which fits your laptop very nicely and protects it from bumps and spills. But what's even better is that the pen slides out from the sleeve. So you're able to store your pen and make sure it doesn't get lost. I know that Samsung has it magnetized to the top cover, but how easily that could get hit off and flicked and lost and just gone forever. I love how it mounts into the sleeve, sleeve folds over and it protects your pen and keeps you from losing it. Now, how does the pen function? The pen functions very well. And like I said, while you're holding the laptop with this angle, it is very nice and comfortable to use the pen on drawing mode. So you got a nice light touch and then you can thicken up your line. It's very responsive. So it's a great pen to screen functionality, but let's add to it. I love how stiff this hinge is. On a lot of laptops, I get frustrated with the two-in-one capability because although it is a touch screen, the screen is so flimsy, you go and you push and the screen just falls down. That does not happen with the Yoga 9i. Look, I'm pushing on the screen, I'm drawing. It does have a little bit of give, but the screen doesn't push away from me. I literally have to push hard to get it away from me. Something like the Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360, you literally push this amount and the screen just goes whoop and falls down. So the fact that this can be used in tablet mode, it can be used with the screen up and you don't even have to use your hand to support it. You can now take this hand and do all your keyboard shortcuts while you're using your pen on the screen. It's like such a simple benefit, but it's so essential to the artist, photographer, or designer that wants to use the pen on the screen. If your screen is falling down, good heavens, it's useless. So well done, Lenovo, with a nice stiff hinge. Now the large trackpad, of course, is a big benefit. It makes it nice. If you don't wanna bring a mouse, you got a lot of nice working room on the trackpad. And of course, the Bowers and Wilkins speaker, if you really enjoy music, has a great audio experience for you. Here's a quick sample so you can hear what it sounds like. Not only do you have this speaker bar, but you also have speakers right on the side panels, not just underneath. So it creates a very nice immersive audio experience. Here's that sample for you. Now the performance on this laptop is great. That i7-1360P does very well. I'm gonna show you a Photoshop benchmark real quick. And as you can see, compared to the Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360, which year over year has been the best laptop for that i7P series processor, it is right behind it. So this laptop is performing very well. Now you also have a lot of different fan modes so you can control the noise and thermals on your laptop right here from the top of the keyboard deck. So literally click and it switches your fan mode into intelligent cooling performance mode or battery saver mode very quickly, which is an awesome feature on the Yoga 9i. Now I mentioned playback and export times earlier for 6K video editing would not be my recommendation, but for 4K, this is a fantastic laptop. You can see it gets zero drop frames for 4K video editing out of a nine minute project and 16,177 frames in the project. And as far as the export time is concerned, you're able to export that project in four minutes and two seconds, which is really only about a minute behind some of the best export times from laptops with dedicated GPUs. So this little thing packs a punch. Should you buy the Lenovo Yoga 9i? Now, if your budget allows, I think it is a fantastic pick for digital artists, graphic designers, photographers, and video editors. I think it has a lot of power, a lot of functionality, and a lot of thoughtfulness in the design. And of course, the build quality is great, the trackpad is large, and it's so comfortable to hold in your hands with a great immersive audio experience. Comment below and let me know what you think of the Yoga 9i and if you're considering buying it. If you are, I would love if you'd use the link in the description as it supports my channel, and I'm always grateful when you guys use those links. I'll see you here in the next video.